on Viking back. Today we're going to take a look at Rim's racing. Um, I'm doing some online challenges. They're just uh, little short like time trials that you uh, complete and based on your score you get like fame and parts and stuff. Um, I'm going to be using the chase cam. Um, I'm getting a lot better at the game. And I just wanted to uh, do an overview. So this game, I really like it. It's uh, at first I was kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because it's very hard. But once you start getting the feel for it and like doing good and getting better, it's really satisfying. Um, I have the trajectory on as you can see I haven't quite taken the training wheels off with that because the corners uh, come up on you and uh, I don't feel like I know the tracks good enough to turn that off yet but you can see that um, you know you can kind of see the where you're supposed to drive it's a little drier and stuff um, but ooh, um, so yeah the graphics in this game, I think, are really good. I think this game is definitely like a quality over quantity type of game. Um, there's a little bit of pop in here and there, but I think the reflections on the on the courses, on the tracks, are really good. I think the quality of the detail in the rider... Oh, there you went down. Um, the quality of the bikes and the rider details really good and then of course the whole part system where you can swap the parts in and out um, is awesome so that was my first little lap at the uh, raceway at Laguna Seca Laguna Seca 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 um, so here we're going to do a road track um, I don't know what bike I'm in I think it's a uh, I don't know. Uh, I know the last bike, the last footage is a uh, Ducati, but uh, it says on the little license plate there. I can't read it, but uh, this is one of the open road tracks. It's called Million Dollar Freeway or something. It's in the U.S. I believe it's supposed to be like you know by the I want to say Colorado or somewhere in the Rocky Mountains maybe or something like that. Um, but it's raining in this track, and then the next, the next uh, bit of footage, we do the same track when it's dry. Um, so you do these little things. It's just this is like a point A to point B type of race, and then you uh, get set your time, and hopefully you get high on the leaderboards, and you get some prizes. Um, I'll be doing more footage. You know, the, the way that the way that I think this game is the best is racing in the helmet cam or the or you know the the dash cam which you call it on a bike you wouldn't call it that on a bike but um and then just watching the cinematic replays i think that's the best kind of like rally games i do the same in rally games i drive with the dash cam and then i watch the cinematic replays so i'm just doing the the, the chase cam here to get like you know to show kind of the detail and what's going on but the sense of speed is so good when you're doing the uh, the um, helmet cam <clears throat> and and yeah it's just a really it's it's becoming an enjoyable game I just got some of the DLC the Bahrain uh, International Raceway is the only DLC track I just picked that up because I wanted to have all the tracks and uh, yeah the bikes handle, you know, really good. I found from, we'll go over in the next, in the next footage, I'll kind of show my setup, but I'm trying to figure out the setups in this game because uh, with the physics being so good, you really kind of got to understand the setups and I don't understand the setups yet. You know, I'm, I'm used to vehicles like cars, and rally cars and stuff. So this is a whole different beast. Um, I run lean gas. I, I found that that emptying your tank and only having what you need for the race helps the uh, 
handling of the bike because you know of course if you have a full gas tank your bike's going to be a little more sluggish and heavy so I've been trying to run only what I need and I'm still running kind of heavy um, but it, the bike is more responsive you know with a lighter gas tank um, as you can see here you really got to slow down around these corners and it kind of kicks up some sparks when it, to show you that you're leaning you know to the brink of of too much but when you get in a groove and you get around, you know, you just kind of loop around these corners and you're just going fast as all get out. It's really, I mean, it's it's the best motorcycle bike game I think I've played. Uh, Ride 3 has a ton of bikes and that's really cool because it has a ton of bikes. But this, you know, this game only has 8 bikes. It has, you know, your, your Yamaha R1, a BMW, a Ducati. Uh, a Kawasaki Ninja, a Suzuki GSX. I think it's a GSX, but you know it has like it has like some prominent bikes. You know, like the best bike from each manufacturer, and then it has you know the parts system that where you can customize the bike with all these aftermarket parts that you want. You know, new rims, new exhaust, new brakes, new grips. So it's just really cool in that aspect, and I'll do a video on that. Boom, done. I'll do a I'll do a video on that later. The the customization. Um, I have a I started my career with a Suzuki GSX, and I've got it all carbon fibered out with aftermarket exhaust and stuff. And it's pretty sweet. Um, so here we'll go on to the Ducati thing. So here we're gonna do the same. La I'm kind of tweaking the the setups. So I, I haven't messed with them. They're all defaulted at 5. So I bumped this up a little bit so it's a little more aggressive. The higher you go, the more snappy it is. And here I'm emptying my gas tank. Look, I'm bringing it down to like a quarter of a tank. I could probably even go lower because it's only a 6 mile. I have a gallon in there and it's 33 miles to the gallon. And it's only a 6 mile race so I could go even lighter. Um... But you don't want to run out of gas. You can run out of gas in races and stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool. So this is the Ducati. And uh, let's see. The sounds are nice. I'll let the sound play out a little bit here. You can hear um, around one of these first turns. You can hear my tires lose traction. So I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet until that happens. But this Ducati is pretty fun. Just listen to the sounds. there you hear kind of squealed um so yeah there's a there's a traction control on the bottom i'm running a three i'm running an anti-wheelie of two and i'm running uh engine brake of four and that seems to be working out for me at the moment um you know if i if you lower all those to zero you get the most authentic experience but man it can be brutal as far as you know spinning out and in your bike yeah. um but yeah these online challenges are fun they every couple of days they put more up and you know you can do them and get parts like i said and that's been fun you know it's kind of a something to do outside of your main career mode which uh which really is pretty intensive the career mode there's a lot of different you know like my rider you can get different outfits for your rider different helmets and it's it's kind of a cool intensive type thing but i don't know so that's that's just me gabbing about this game um i'll let this footage play out and uh you can see at the end i'll show you kind of where i was on the leaderboard for this run 
Uh, I think I got somewhere middle middle of the top ten, so that's kind of cool. Who knows if I get beat out after a while, you know, from people, other people getting better times, but you know, maybe in a couple days I'll get some good uh, good points for it, and good parts. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, have more stuff out. I'll let this footage play out. You can kind of see, excuse me, kind of see what what's going on. And I don't know. Give this game a try if you like. If you're looking for a racing game that's, you know, not cars. Let's see if I dump my bike. I think I dumped my bike at some point in this, but right here maybe. Yep. Dumped it. So yeah, so I mean, you know, this game would be cool. Uh, like I said, I think the graphics are pretty good. The detail's good. Um, it'd be nice if they could do this game with a, a better damage model. Kind of on par with like a dirt rally. Where, you know, you bust off your fairings and stuff and you gotta finish the race. And your, you know, stuff's all cracked up. There is scratches and, and, and damage to your, um, rider suit and stuff and you know that works with the wear and tear so you could have a banged up bike that you're racing and you have to replace the fairing but you don't have enough money to replace the fairings i think it's fairings is that right what do we what do you call the the plastic body uh i don't know um and they get all scratched up as you go through and your rider suit gets all scratched up and you know you gotta you can buy new clothes and stuff and it's just pretty cool and fun overall. The bike shows the wear and tear. Um, but yeah, if they could get a better damage model, and you know, maybe a handful more bikes and the rims too would be awesome because I think they got something with this. But I'll leave it off. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like if you like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Viking out of here. Take care of yourselves, as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Here's my, uh, here's where I end up. Take care.